Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Ifeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, Ayo. Good morning. Yes, let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, NAMI, FIRS, rates in unprecedented 10.1 trillion Naira tax revenues in 2022. Oil, non-oil -tax, non taxes contributed 41%, 59% respectively. 1.81 trillion Naira in tax waivers impeached on collections. Laments political interest, multiple tax authorities hampering revenue drive. Buhari Hill's achievement. Yes, the executive chairman of uh, the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mohammed Nami, yesterday addressing the press on the performance of uh, the tax collection agency. Um, there, a record 10.1 trillion naira tax. And of course, non oil um, taxes contributing more than oil revenue uh, in recent times. So it's a good one, a welcome development, but it could have been more. But for tax waivers uh, given by the government uh, th due to different laws, 1.81 trillion in tax waivers impinged on collection. Of course, perhaps going forward, the government will have to look at this uh, tax waivers, the benefit, but sometimes the benefits that come when you give tax waivers, uh, many Nigerians can see the APAPA um, uh, road, which the Dangote group has turned, uh, uh, yes, APAPA to Bagada. That's where they have now turned to concrete solid road, of course, due to uh, the tax incentives which, uh, in which the Dangote group will get as a result of uh, taking care of that road. Sometimes it brings a number of benefits. Now, above the masthead, history as Buhari inaugurates $1.5 billion lucky deep sea ports, witnesses first cargo ship of loading, inaugurates rice mill, best of lubricant plant, Chinese envoy says it's sign Nigeria's investment climate can be trusted. Yes. A huge one there, the lucky deep sea port, and it will improve the capacity of Nigerian ports generally. But it's good to hear that that port is being managed by the French because we know what happened to a Papa port, to Tinkan Island ports, to the extent that Nigerian importers were preferring to take their goods to uh, Cotonou ports. Lack of maintenance provision of adequate equipment when this equipment goes bad. So we hope this, yes, definitely will bring uh, more jobs, more goods being transported in and outside the country, and most, more importantly, being a hub for the West African sub-region. Yes, President Buhari will take that credit. It happened under my watch, friendly, investment environment. And if the Chinese are saying that, then you say kudos to President Muhammad Buhari. This is one that he will take as credit that it happened under his administration. Now, other stories quickly. Now, the Guardian newspaper is reporting 65 million Naira lost as NPA shot Lagos ports over Buhari's visit. Freight forwarders kick as cargoes get trapped. Police unleash dogs on them. Buhari commissions 1.5 billion lucky port. Lagos rice mill port. Lucky port can handle four times a papa tinker. Tinker cargoes. Well, this is an unfortunate one that they had to shut uh, the ports yesterday in a papa. Why they have to do that? Of course, because. Over time, they've not been able to deal with the traffic situation created by tankers and trailers. So when a big man is visiting, like the president, you just chase everybody away, shut down businesses. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so that the president can have easy right. Not a good way to solve problems. I think that problem is one that the Lagos State government with the NPA authorities will have to deal with even after uh, Governor Somolu will have been elected if Lagosians decide to elect him. It's not a problem you can run away from. They are papa traffic gridlock. Businesses have been killed and many have moved out of that location. Properties, uh, the, the, the price of properties dropped because of the situation of gridlock into and out of a papa. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, old Naira notes, Nigerians fear massive losses as deadline draws near. Business owners give January 25 deadline. Food prices soar as traders reject old notes. Family rejects old notes as bride price. Hmm. <laughs> That's a new one. Yeah, they don't want to get stuck with uh, especially when it's difficult to come by. Uh, you know, so anybody that's coming to make payment. Uh, but they can it, transfer bride price now. That's what we're talking about. No, you have policy. to no, you have to touch bride price <laughs> no, for it to be valid. No, you just you can't one transfer of the bride price. You transfer the rest. And, and you not have no, 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 Rufai, no, no, no. You know we married man. We know what we are talking about. <laughs> Please. You don't transfer by price. Then you now say the ATM failed okay. or the oh, POS failed. It, failed. No, no, no. Everything yeah, I see how Dr. is looking with the statement because he also had his own, but it's fine. It's fine. I will surprise all of you. Let's Let move on. Rufai, this, this is 2020. This is the year. This now, is 20, New Telegraph all. newspaper, Nigeria moves to overturn P and ID's $11 billion arbitration award. Says government officials compromised. Bribery allegation false defendant NMPCL fails to stop Ararumes 100 billion naira suit against Buhari over unla unlawful sack. Corporations cancel stage worker. Now, the P and ID's uh, issue is still on Nigeria State pursuing to overturn that arbitration award. Among us, 11 billion uh, dollar award, of course. Nigerian authorities pointing at the, of course, the shady deals that went into that transaction. And I hope the court in the UK will take note and act accordingly, hoping. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper elections, 3.5 million students won't vote, will be in school during elections, whereas they registered at home. Nigerians knock varsities, police for not considering academic break. I don't know who will take charge of that. Academic break at this time when students spend so many months at home. Academic break to go and vote? Well, uh, maybe somebody's looking at that. The Nigerian Tribune, petrol sells as high as 350 naira per liter. Motorist commuters grown. Yes, the problem is still very much on. Queues for fuel, to get fuel is a problem and it is costly. Perhaps time to look at subsidy removal again. But last week it was reported that the federal government has removed subsidy or has increased, yes, has increased the price of Peron to 185. But that has since been denied by the NMPCL. Now, the, the Nigerian Tribune, also the front page, PDP seeks court order to declare Tinubu ineligible to contest how Atiku will win February poll Mumodu in Bayelsa. PDP presidential candidate says Niger Delta people need restructuring more. Now, the Nation newspaper, Buhari's declaration in Bauchi, Tinubu is coming, is coming. Incoming president. Yes, Buhari's declaration in Bauchi. Tinubu is incoming president. Why not should vote for ex governor by Lawan Bajabia Miller? PDP abandoned region to Boko Haram. That's what uh, the APC is saying. Now, um, Business Day newspaper diesel rises to 184 naira by 184 percent. Yes, diesel def defies global oil prices. Swing. Now, the foreign newspapers quickly, uh, the Guardian newspaper, Prime Minister admits questions need answering on Zanawi tax. Number 10 instructs ethics advisor to begin investigation. Uh, Inter Tory party chairman, will he survive this probe? 
Well, the Prime Minister himself has questions to answer because many are saying, did he know about the issue concerning Zanawi's tax before uh, his appointment? And of course, other appointment, his appointment of the head of the BBC also under the, the, uh, the lens, Ruben, Rufai, and Ayo. Well, Juan, the story you have not taken, which I think uh, I'd like to refer to, is that the federal government of Nigeria has now decided that all travelers arriving in Nigeria must uh, take uh, the COVID test and show proof of vaccination. We had made the point that having the uh, Chinese uh, lunar year, new year, and uh, the movement from China to other parts of the world, that perhaps uh, you know, countries should take measures. As we have seen in countries like Malaysia, the United States, the United Kingdom, uh, it's important that at the end of the day, the Nigerian Port Health Services have now come around to this point to say that we need to be vigilant. We don't take anything for granted, especially as we cannot rely on data coming from China. You know, other countries have expressed concern in that particular regard. Uh, Africa may have been lucky with uh, COVID-19, but still, uh, you know, uh, discretion is a better part of valor. That's one. Number two, is the CBN, uh, this uh, currency swap, uh, you know, issue. I saw a story saying there are restrictions. The thing is restricted to just five banks, and, you know, you can't do more than 10,000 naira. All of this. Today is uh, what date now? 24th. Yes. We have just about five days yeah. to go. Would the CBN perhaps consider an extension? Because everywhere you go now, it's still the old news. It's only uh, Emmanuel Feni's bank that is giving out new news. Well, if I Other use, banks are not giving out those new news. I don't want to know. If I use uh, modern banks, it's not my problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but, because so Ruben, every time, modern banks. since last two, uh, two Saturdays ago, every time I withdraw now is clean currency yeah. I receive. Maybe have special hands In your own them. bank. Thank yes. you so much, Mr. Emmanuel Feni, for today's newspaper. Dr. Basu, do you do internet banking? Thank you, Fida. <laughs>